Hello my friends and welcome to our blind let's play Secret of Evermore for the Super Nintendo. My name is the Flatless Bird, this is your Sword Base Gaming channel, and today, joined by the King of Giant Robots as our co-pilot and navigator, Azappa. I am your loyal and faithful hound, here to sniff out all the secrets of Evermore. Indeed, this is only my second secret game uh the first being the original secret of mana i haven't played any other games besides that if you don't count final fantasy adventure uh final fantasy adventure is a secret game but you know it's a little bit complicated with the naming convention and all that So welcome to name your hero. And this should be uh very simple. I don't know if I can type in fight list. Did they give me that many characters? Wow. I think so. A old school game that gives you more than four characters. That's impressive. I think it goes up to twelve. Let's see. Wow. Or it is space sensitive. Like you could probably fit more eyes than you could S's. Ah, that that that's that makes sense. Okay, so uh, are we ready to begin, my friend? Um Yes. And um let me ask you this. How much hand holding do you want? Um not nothing that spoils story. Don't forget we are a story based gaming channel. Okay. And uh, as far as secrets go, if I miss something, you can always go, hey, do this. That'll be fine. Okay. Well, then um, I'm going to have to guide you into doing something seemingly meaningless very soon. But go ahead. Excellent. Sounds fun. Uh, and yes, Asapa does look different today. He's got his robot dog persona for this playthrough. I have to be your loyal canine companion. I thought it was fitting. I think it's awesome. All right, let's do this. Podunk, USA. That's a term for a nothing town. Fall of 1965. Didn't know we would get so realistic here. Oh, yes. I I'm going to point out a few things here. The Adventures of Loxley. Al's Barbershop. Smith's Hardware. That's important. Smith's Hardware. An experiment is about to conclude. Very opulent mansion. My friends. My fr oh, go ahead. Prepare to be a point of mystery! A twist of a knob and a flip of a switch there! Wait a minute. That That's not right! Thirty years later. Of yes, Vex is an important name. What a classic. My favorite part was the battle with the slime beast in the toxic swamp. You could hardly tell that it was really a bunch of old tires and a garden hose. Oh, it zoomed right by. Where are you going, buddy? That's not the way home. Wait for me! Doughead Software, also important. Now, where did he go? The door is open. I had better take a look inside. There you are. You know, I think that cat is long gone. Hey, where are you going? Yay, 
Thanks! Watch out for that. Oops. Hey, look! A mummy! A chainsaw! And a balloon animal! Uh, sounds like Monkey Island right now. Hmm. This wall panel is kind of loose. Wow, I think we found some sort of secret entrance. Wow. This looks like the PZS plasma drive and when consonants collide. I wonder if it works. Whoa. We should get out of here before something goes terribly wrong. Hey, don't chew on those wires! Oh my god. A dog. Uh oh. Hello, Crippindy. Welcome. So, uh, I did say this before, but I am streaming this on ASAP's Twitch channel, and I will be uploading this to my channel later on. You go ahead, do this now. of an intruder, I, I fear. <laughs> that was some blast. <laughs> uh. who, who, who are you? That's not important. We've got to get you out of here. Can't have you meddling with the professor's experiments. Come along. Like Dr. Wily and Dr. White. Who's that, Carltron? Do we have a visitor? It's no one. No one at all. Continue with your work, Professor. After you. Where the heck are we? Now chill out. Now what? I'm about to tell you what. So several things. Um, there, in the beginning, there was uh, Smith Hardware and Doug Doughead Software. Douglas Smith worked on this game. He's part of the development team. He worked on other games, but he's also the person who created Load Runner. So that that's just a little Easter egg bit there. And then the other one, The Adventures of Vex. Uh, during development, this game's original title was Vex and the Mesmers, wherein the Mesmers were a bunch of magicians and a character, the main character, Vex, was, you know, the player character. Remains of this, uh, it just remains and Easter eggs of data that I learned this morning. <laughs> nice. What pattern do we like here? Uh, what's that? I kind of like that one because you can see a little bit through it, but it's not completely, you know, blocked in. Oh no, a spoiler, a small spoiler. So this is your AI control. The uh, adjusting your character means nothing. Uh, adjusting it for your dog just it initiates how they're going to act. Now. Do you want to see an almost completely useless, but very much later cutscene that occurs? Sure. So you're going to get into battle here and you're going to learn how, uh, how to remember how to play, um, secret of mana. Yeah. Secret of mana where so you have let to let, let your gauge. No, you let your gauge charge and you, and then you do a thing. A bazooka. See? Yes. Cool. You have 100 shots of that bazooka. In order to make the cutscene happen, you have to waste all 100 shots without killing these enemies. Really? Yes. So if you go up into one of the, the corner there, they tend to not bother you. And then that'll happen. Just like let it charge. Really? A hundred shots like this? And, and it's a very brief and nothing but interesting scene okay we are now officially at one bullet left after spending about five minutes uh firing bazooka balls now you get to do is whack them all enemies move quite fast or at least this one does
This looks like a way out. So did anything happen? Is that you, buddy? I can't see very well. It's dark in here. Hey, I think there's some sort of futuristic escape pod. Oops, there goes the control pad. It pays off later. What does? All of this effort. Oh, okay. I thought that would be like something. Oh, wow. Look at this thing. No, it is unfortunately not like the 108 battles in the beginning of Suicune. The what? Yeah. Tell me later. I plan on playing that Maybe. Spot. Whoa, that was some landing. I think the pod and bazooka are shot, and thankfully, they actually let me control the text now. One of my yes, biggest yes, pet yes, peeves yes. in games is when they don't let you control the text, and it drives me crazy. If you had pushed start at any point before the battle, you would have skipped the whole thing. Oh, that would have sucked. Uh, where am I anyway? And where's my dog? Hey, everybody. Hey, pupster. Where are you, boy? <laughs> wow, is that really you? You've changed. Hmm. You're really my dog? You'll fetch this stick. Okay, go get it. It's not a stick. Well, this isn't a stick, but it'll do. Come on, buddy. Let's look around. You have the femur of fury. Oh, that's a weapon. Oh, hello. Just hit my... Okay, so... Oh, my God. So the trick to those is to approach them diagonally. Yeah, this guy's hurt. Hurt my dog. Uh, that that gourd there, those are your treasure chests for now. The what? Uh, the gourd that you, you walked by. Sorry, I'm trying not to get killed by everything on the screen here. Quite. Gourd. Oh. Kind of pedal. So, your dog automatically draws towards certain things on the ground. Perhaps investigate what he goes to sniff. Sometimes it's very picky about where you push. I, I push upward. Oh, there it is. Wow, talking about pixel up perfect. Almost. If you hold the L and R triggers, you can also force him to sniff. Which is also useful if you don't want your dog stealing kills from you. Why would that matter? Ow! So you can level up your weapons. I just died. Sally, this this dog never came back. Oh no, I gotta shoot all 100 bazookas again. Hmm. Oh my god, I was not expect- How the heck did they kill me so quickly? Like, that was three hits, and I just instantly died. Ah. Uh, oh, wait. It starts me here. But is that bad? Because is the bazooka I... used? I hope so. I, I don't know, but it will. I will not forget whether or not the uh, the the, the cutscene happens. It's it's very it's very subtle. All right. Well, if it doesn't happen, you just need to let me know. Yes. I certainly will. Okay. So he's stiff here, but I already got the item. That means that there's nothing there. If he does, if he's not walking towards something, then there's nothing nearby for. Enemies just come out of nowhere. Well positioned. I just hit my dog. But yeah. Yes, that is your dog. Do you want to control the dog? You can control the dog? You can control the dog. Press select. You are oh. now the dog. Huh. Cool. So now you have two ring menus when you bring up your menu. Uh, I think X, maybe? Yeah, there you go. And you can you switch in between. And this will... Um, controlling the dog will play into a ultimate secret technique that we can implement later on. 
do not have the items nor supplies for the technique. Now, every now and again, an enemy will drop an item that will leave behind a corpse of sorts. I think there's something right about there, but... Ahmed's a little bit tricky. Yeah, the enemies hit really hard. For now, I mean, you have you have none armor. You are level one. You are but a boy, but a young man. Wielding a, wielding a bone. Yep, I hate how my dog fury. just walks right into enemies. He is investigating. Got it. So this, while we're out here in the middle of nowhere, I look at for I don't know. Uh, this is one of the few games that I like to call the Chrono Cross Effect. And I've explained the Chrono Cross Effect before, but it basically says this game isn't like Chrono Trigger, so it sucks. And I call it the Chrono Cross Effect because when I was young, I played Chrono Cross for like 30 minutes. And I ended up throwing it away and getting rid of it because I said this wasn't like Chrono Trigger. And... I played Secret of Evermore, and when this game came out, I was like, oh, a new Secret of, I'm sorry, I played Secret of Mana, and when this game came out, I was like, oh, it's a new Secret of Mana, I can't wait for that, because I love Secret of Mana. And I saw the, um, the, uh, the screenshots of the game, I, I saw that magic was limited, um, and I basically said, Wow, this is not Secret of Mana. This sucks. And I didn't play the game. And this thing won't die. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I call this, um, I call it the Chrono Cross Effect. Uh, a game that you don't give a chance to because it's not like the other game you played. And so now, many, 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 many years later, Having played Chrono Cross on my channel with every ending, I'm playing Secret of Evermore, a game that I instantly put aside because I said this wasn't Secret of Mana. Hey, level two. And you get a heal from it, full heal. Figuring out a little bit better how to play now. Then eventually, I'm sure you'll explore your menus. There you go. You can go to stats. I've already seen the stats. Level 1, our attack, attack is 17. Doggo's attack, 19. That's where that R is other player, but L doesn't do anything. So I have played Secret of Mana, so I do know about the uh, the bar. The question is, do we have a charge attack already? We do not. No, the, you have to level up your weapon. Unfortunately, oh, it is a 100. Okay, if you go any further, you will trigger the next cutscene. You can go back and continue to grind if you wish to. Um, I think what I should do is throw a safety save. Safety save. Okay. So, if you win, there are fabulous prizes, but it is okay if you don't win. I have a strange feeling about this. <laughs> Star Wars reference. I love it. Okay, so, they will jump diagonally towards the middle, and that's when you get to smack them. And I press the wrong button. Stop killing my dog. They have 40 HP, and there are four of them. There are multiple targets. No, not really. You get one at a time. So just stand just off center. Ow! And they will whiff you 90% of the time. Hey, my dog His dog up. reaches level two. It's good because he got some hits on him. Right, he got healed. 
It's like Jurassic Park. So you Park. picked up a petal earlier, so you should have at least one healing item on your person. It's like Jurassic Park here. Stupid raptors. I was supposed to be in the future. But you're not. I have no idea. I'm making a statement, but you're not in the future. Oh, that's a good strategy right there. Yes. Stand just off center. And that guy just okay. like wrecked my face. Now, I think hit Y again. Now press down. There we go. Down cycles your minions. Remember, it is okay to lose. But I was doing well until that win. one guy hit me like twice. Hit him, come on. That that is one of the flaws of this game, it's like no I hit you. Yeah. But then sometimes it says you didn't. Two down. That's two out of four. Got him. Alright, you, you you found yourself ah, in, a, in a pattern. Oh, down. Oh, you had a second pedal. Nice. Nice. All right. One more. I just use that uh, pedal. This one has double the HP. I just use that pedal. It's faster. There you go, counter hit, counter hit. Oh, come on. See, that time oh, you did connect, on. but it's like, no, nah, statistically you missed. Two in a row. He should be down pretty soon. Yeah! You You're did it. You got one pedal back. Bet our doggo didn't probably get the experience for that. It'll be alright. So, along the edges here, there are more ingredients to pick up. I think if you hold the, the shoulder buttons, he'll still sniff. Maybe not? No, he doesn't. Oh. Nope. Okay. So, just exterior collisions, hall, uh, hall, wall hugging. If you want to find anything, if not, you can move on. It's, no, it's never anything more than ingredients. Okay, right, I can't attack, so... You are in safety. Uh, you want to take all the insulated voices? No, no, it's a wonder far from the village. I heard about a place where there are lots of bugs and tar. My father's strong heart went there days ago when he hasn't come back. Actually, a good thing to do is we'll just exchange voices. So mm -hmm. you'll do an NPC, I'll do an NPC. This, this is driving me crazy. Don't like it? I need to be or solid. Or did it change? I need to be solid. Okay. There. Yeah, I like that one too. Talk to Mima there. We are the village of Fire Eyes. Welcome peaceful visitors. See, it's so much easier to read now. Thank you for protecting us from those nasty raptors. Please stay for a while and have some nice petals. Oh, you didn't even give me any petals. Hostile, hostile intruders were ever to enter our village fire eyes and make them regret it. You should talk to fire eyes before you walk into the dangerous quicksand field. Oh, okay. So that's the next location. Right. So that would be that oh, there. Up. That that hut there with all the little things around it, that's your target. The new alchemist strong heart is missing from his jungle hut. I heard that Strongheart went to the bug mark in the east to search for ingredients. But he has not quite heard heard from some time. Nice lizard, huh? She knows how to sit, stay, shake canes, and roll over. Watch this trick. Turn, Iggy. Now, the other way. <laughs> now I'm dizzy. <laughs> Uh, 
Let's see. Ah, I thought we were in the future. It looks like one of past. Kona would be proud. The jungle vipers and jungle beasts dare not enter our village. Fire eyes protects us from them. Please remember to take the contents of my pots and gourds. You'll need them if you plan to go to jungle. Longard had taken Fire's advice, he wouldn't have wandered far. Like, one of the rules of RPGs, like, click on things twice. You know? Yes. Very cool. Is that a way to, like, get my dog back? Yes. Eventually. This is the hood of a leader. They show Fire Eyes to his spit. Fire ice, 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 fire ice. Oh, hello. What? Oh, hi. My name's Elizabeth. Everyone around here calls me Fire Eyes. I was expecting to see a teenage girl wearing glasses in the ancient jungles. Uh, hi. Pointless is my name. Well, flightless, step into my hut. No talk. Who let this wild beast in here? Hey, that's my dog. Oh, that's my dog. He hasn't been himself lately. What's his name? His name? It's... Oh, I can name him. Oh, yes. heck yeah. I kind of saw that coming. Zappa. I mean, you are literally a robot dog on my screen, so. True. Zappa, that's original. You're not from around here, are you? I'm not really sure where here is, to tell you the truth. They're on Evermore, in my prehistoric village. I'm the leader. You wouldn't know how to get to Podunk from here, would you? Podunk? Interesting. I might. Maybe we can work something out. How would you like to make yourself useful around here? Well, I, uh... The new village alchemist, Strahan, is wandering off from the bug map to the east. Search for alchemy ingredients that are plentiful in the muck. If you can help get back to the village, I will help you with uh, whatever you need. Well, as Captain Leaf Meldrock says in Mars Needs Lumberjacks, I'm ready for anything. Um, before you go, I'd like you have an alchemy formula that I've developed. I call it Flash. It's pretty powerful against mean creatures. Oh, well, I mean, what's a mean creature? They're all mean. Now you Small highlight it. Fireball. There you go. It costs. Well, she'll tell you. You can use a formula whenever you have two parts wax and one part oil. Well, one part wax, two parts oil. <laughs> right. That's what I said. <laughs> Just select the spell and let it fly. The more you use the flash formula, the stronger it will get. Cool. Thanks. Don't raid her pots just yet. Raid them later. Don't eat through the quicksand fields to the bug muck. You find strong right there and help him out, I'll help you. Like to equip her and equip your spells? So don't raid anything yet? Not from her not from her hut. Not yet. Still need a rest somewhere. It's like Final Fantasy VI, wherein they'll get better. Oh. Pa well, in truth, I ran to the village of fires to make him regret it. Again. Talk to that person. You are not Ooh. one of us. Not a viper either. You are like Fight Eyes. There are many huts. Fight Eyes came to us many years ago in a pillar of flesh of light and smoke. It was very dramatic. I learned that word from Fire Eyes. Dramatic. My brother Shunghan told me he was going to look for the big bug in the buck bug. 
He said there'd be rare ingredients in, hidden in the bug skeleton. Yeah, but I don't like bugs. You like to purchase them? I don't like bugs. Wow, those are expensive well, as heck. They, 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 they literally could be worse. Um, should I buy any of these or should I wait? Do you want to throw spells? Well, yeah, but I want to get a better weapon. We'll get a better, better weapons come with time. So, buy ingredients then? For now, you can. There you go. So, is it wax and ash? Oil. Oil. Not enough. But there's plenty of uh, chests here to raid, so you will, you will get things over time. You spend most of your money on ingredients as it goes. Ah, oh, there's some oh, look. No. So, I'm going to use exactly this talent I just stole from you to buy some more. Exactly. There you go. And now, when you bring up your, your command ring, uh, go down. Now you have the alchemy ring. So It will always tell you how many that you have based upon what you're carrying. But there's no quick button for it. I have to cast it from a menu. Right. But that there there is a move. Well, the alchemy ingredients are plenty if you search this village outskirts. But be careful. The place is packed with creepy creatures. Vipers from the volcano never came close to the village. They fear fire eyes. Oh, there's some map. Yep. And an actual intelligent location too. Yep. The the fire pit in front of fire eyes is um. Hello, traveler. Um, I'm the source of goods in this village. What can I do for you? Go ahead. Uh, the fire pit in front of Fire Eyes's hut will respawn ash every 12 seconds, so long as you go, uh, so long as you refresh the screen, which is leave the village or go into a house and come back. But you can like infinite farm ash at the very least from that one spot. Thanks for fighting off your just outside villages. Please take this grass vest. Oh, that is your other reward for beating the vipers. It's full of voices beasts like vipers from a volcano. Make sure you're well equipped before you go. Uh, the roots and water are also very important ingredients to have. There you go. Welcome to the grass mess. Oh, if I press that, it goes back and forth between me and the dog. Okay. I need to get yes. my dog up, though. Where can I rest? Um, It's down and to the left. Or to the right, rather. You can't go that way. It, well, you're barred. Yeah, I need a sword. Yes, a reminds bladed me of, object. Reminds me of Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Well, th yes. There, there are some places that are gated behind certain weapons. Yeah. One of these is an inn. It's either this one or the hut next to it. It's the uh, one next to it. You look tired. You should have a nice meal and rest at the end. It's just next door. See, that's oh. why you talk to everyone twice. Some pedals for your journey. That's why you talk to everyone twice. All the time. Every time. Very important. Hello, friend. Oh, friend. Welcome to my inn. Would you like to rest? Ah, uh, 10 talents? You have 44. I just saved your village from a raptor attack. Just staring over me the entire night. Hope he you walked could... outside. There's some people that don't walk outside. My buttons are like reverse for some reason. Your Nintendo buttons are backwards? Well, I, it's my Nintendo buttons are PlayStation buttons. Ah, uh, continue to go up and to the right. Up and to the left, sorry. I don't know why I get my left and right backwards. Alchemy is practical by the ingredients to perform powerful, often magic results. My family has used alchemy for many generations. But it's increased when you strengthen the... Uh, when you use formulas, often. You know it's alchemist, but I've retired. I gave the practice of my friend, Strongheart. He left for bug to search for alchemy ingredients days ago and has not yet returned. Can you move, please? My dog Sir. is sniffing. There we go. 
Come on. Yeah. An adventurer must have shielding on the field. I deal in strong armor. What can I do for you? Ah, oh, you see, this is what I want. No, no, and never buy that. What? Don't buy that. Do not. I could have buy it even if I want to. Well, I don't want you to. My doggo feels naked. Well, oh, hello. Do not take these yet. They also upgrade later. It's a little hidden secret there. Remind me of that later because I'll probably forget about this. Don't worry. It's one of the checks on the on the tracker. Sweet. All right, so this He's that gone. probably like down on that edge. I checked it. Have I been here? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, you've been in every house. But now that you've talked to Fire Eyes. We can go down this way. Yes, he will allow you to passage. Wow, Doggo just like said, screw you. Yes, he is very strong. All the time. These guys are kind of hard to see sometimes. Yeah, there's the foreground there. That's unfair! Can't hit you, no, you should wasn't. be able to hit me. I mean, eventually you will. Some sort of shell thing up here. If you bring up your, uh, your alchemy targeting, you can see enemy names. Bob. Skeleton. snap. All right, let's try this out. Oh, it homed. That was cool. Yes. I wasn't expecting to do that. Does my weapon level up um, based on kill stealing or? Based on how many enemies you defeat with that weapon. But your dog's attack also levels up based on the enemies it defeats. Oh, look, there's a corpse. Yeah, forget about that. Some enemies turn into, uh, you know, shadows of themselves. Some turn into ash. Some turn into goop. And if you've never seen a secret game, by the way, um, the, the meter at the bottom that says, like, 100%, if you attack like this, you will never do, like, any damage. You can't just spam attack. It doesn't work. Um, oh. this is the type of game where you have to wait for your thing to charge and then attack. Strat, you must be strategically powerful. And, uh, when I asked earlier about, can I charge it? It's because, um, you're, you're able to charge up your weapon to do usually a specialized attack or a stronger attack. Was that something you could do from the start in mana? I don't know. I mean, it's been a if long I, time since I played. Right, I feel like that was something you had to like level it up for once. Should I go in that? I don't know. I want to see how far you can get. Yes, that plant does have roots. There you go. So also, your alchemy levels up based on how many uses you do. Oh, there you go. You got caught. I wanted to try to get in that. That's okay. Excellent. <laughs> wow. I thought a little sand in the shoes was irritating. That was cool, the dog, like, jumping up like that. There's nothing. Could be nothing. It could be that spot in the middle. That was a cave here. Yes. All creatures easily fall prey to the sucking sand whirlpools. You need the speed of a jaguar. That sounds like a good alternative, being soaked in sand. It combines you with one jaguar tooth ring. Gives the wearer the ability to run with the speed of the fastest feline. And it's free with any purchase today only. 
What a scam. Literally buy any one thing. Look, buy a pedal. Rather, th th this heals my dog, I assume, right? That is your revival. For the dog? For the dog. Yeah, I should probably buy one. You can use a pedal on the dog. That's valid. Take this Jagger Tooth Ring as my gift to you. Receive the Jaguar Ring. All right, so now you have a new option in your menu. Press and hold the A button to run, but watch your energy. A long run will wear you out. Assuming that's my B button. Yeah, that's my B button. Yeah. So as you as you saw, once you hit run, it does that. But so the the trick to fastest movement is to not hold the button tapping it oh i can use that to evade a whirlpool yes press that it. that is the idea or that is the de developer idea maybe we should be a little more careful around these whirlpools like jack mccoy said invasion of the mole people stay focused and watch your stint guy's gonna be full of me uh, movie references isn't he only so many i don't mind i think it's great i think he's got about like 17 more ah! in him now, some of them do go to different places, so they're not always going to kick you back here. Just the first few. This is getting kind of old. We just really try to avoid those wolf holes. Yeah, and he won't. He doesn't have any more lives after that. It's not going to be like redundant and annoying. I just Only love this the part's... dog's expression. <laughs> yeah. Gotta stay on my toes. Exactly. Oh no! It it happens really fast too. Yeah, they slurp you up. They do not care. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> nice. nice. The bow. It's right around the skull. There. Hey, now you're picking up on it. Now you're cooking with gas. These enemies are kind of easy. Skull? Typically. Now the cool thing about your alchemy is you can multi-target your alchemy, and it still only costs you one. That's cool. Because that would suck if you're trying to heal both you and your dog in a pinch, and it costs you twice as much. Yeah, it would suck. Took me a ways back. Yeah. You know which ones here I should fall into? None of them. Okay, that's. You've you've done the bit. The only reason to fall into one now is if you needed to go back to that guy and buy items. Like I said, these things are a little bit annoying because they are very very fast. Good news is this is the only area in the entire game where these occur. See what I mean? It's it's I go to swing at the thing and the thing opened up and I don't have the reaction time to like I was running there. can't. This enemy is really annoying because of the positioning here. Thank you, doggo.
Okay, do I want to go down there? Do I want to... That's progress. There is one more thing that you could pick up, but it's... It's going to be up and it around to the right, the in. left side. Yeah, there's a way to go up. I saw that. Level up. Things got weird. Oh, I, I want you to bring up your your alchemy menu when you get a chance. There's a glitch here. Okay. Select, and then select your targets. Huh. What? Okay. Then it's not this spell. Okay, there, there's... The rock in front of you is glitched as a valid target for certain spells, even though it does nothing. And it also constantly detects as something that you could investigate for alchemy, and there's nothing there. There are a few bugs in this game. Just a few. Ah, I mean, it's a Super Nintendo game. It's not going to be perfect. And it's not like you went and picked up any, like, bug-fixed uh, patches. Yeah, this is not modded or anything. Uh, this is but the original Secret of Evermore. Untouched. Unchanged. Raw. As is. As is. And I know there's improvement patches and stuff for games, but there's there's still something on there. But it's just out. It's just pickups. Nothing you can't you know buy later. Nice shot, Doggo. Yeah, I've I've heard that uh like there is an improvement patch, but it, it's like 50-50 rated as yo this is good and no this is bad. Yeah, I, I the only type of improvement patches I would saw on like a Super Nintendo game are those that have some acclaim to them. My God, what the heck is going on here? Many things. There are multiple targets. The, the only active part you can hit on that is its head. Yeah, I figured that one out pretty quick. Well done. He's sniffing that dog. Uh, Good job, Zach. I know, I know. Okay, you can't go into the bog. Nice! Is there a way to see my weapon level? Uh, yes, it is in your menus somewhere. So we go to, well, there it is, weapon level. It was that one. One of which means 40. you, yes, one of 40, which means you've killed 40 enemies and you need 60 more. Really? Seems like a lot. Yes, quite. Ow. So mosquito. I can't get past that. Oh. That cave wouldn't hurt. Yo, that's efficiency. Yeah, I know. I 
think they're eh? I think they're um They have deadlocked each other. I think they're having a moment with each other. I think they both knew they couldn't move. Like, we don't wanna come on. I've always hated the misses in secret of mana. Something more infuriating when you like power up a move and you get to like level four and then you unleash and then you miss. Oh, there's there's one bit worse. In the level when you eight, unleash you your attack and an enemy attacks you and you defend the attack. When you I've gone to attack you. No, instead I'm defending. Your attack is canceled and your gauge is wasted. How do I get to the chest down yeah. there? Well, there's a cave. Ah, over here. All right, now I can Probably hit this bonk. guy. Yeah. Good old bonk in the head. Or maybe I can hit maybe. this guy. There we go. Now, who got it? Who knows? I think I did. Probably. I like how the dog just goes sit down over there. Hello, friend. I don't get many visitors out here in the bunk muck. Study alchemy. It's very powerful. Alchemy? You're not strong hard, are you? No, but I know him. I saw him only a few days ago. He's walking towards the big bug. Boy, can answer. You should have another alchemy formula. Alchemy is quite useful. Take a little of this, a little of that, and... Poof! It's like magic. Literally. <laughs> Let me give you the hardball formula. It's an effective weapon. So now we have hardball, which is like flash, except different items. Different items. Which makes one part crystal and one part clay, and uh, give it a good toss. Like to put some ingredients. I don't think so right now. I've seen your progress. Later. Play. Water. Water. It would be nice if you let Good me night. sleep here. Now you have two alchemy. Now you can do crazier things with the ultimate secret technique. Can you combine spells? Not intended, but yes. Like I said, I hate it when you miss like that. Because it leaves you open, because this is a game where you can't just mash a button. I, I could teach you the technique, but I don't want to waste your supplies when you don't have very many spells or monies. This thing almost killed me. Heal that. Here's oh. a pedal. I'm Enemies drop yet. pedals. I'm not dead yet. You can only carry six pedals. Nice. Stupid. These things are so hard to hit. And they die in one shot if you can hit them. Oh, nice shot. Ooh. Guess I don't know what if that was you or there. me, but that was good. That, that was at the same time. Oh, hello. Found a pedal. It was free. Hey, Zappa leveled up. That's not what I want to do. I want to attack the enemy. <laughs> but I'll well, take the today. Wall. There we go. What are you sniffing at? There we go. Oh. That one came out of nowhere. It's going right for you. Ooh. Hmm. 
That is a risky... Nice shot, Zappa. Ah! Dang it, I lost my chance to pick up a pedal. It disappeared on me. Because you couldn't carry anymore. I know, but I was... I was hoping it wouldn't disappear. Oh, they will. And the purple pouch in your item ring will show you all of your trinkets and relics that there you have. Uh, to the left. Left is always right. I know, I'm just following the dog first. Did he just pee on that thing, or is there actually something there? Good shot. Left is always right. Nice. Oh, this one's a little bit tricky. No, we don't need to fight that. <laughs> There's a chest up there. Get that later. Yeah, I don't think I can get over there. You can. Later. Yeah, I gotta go through those thingies. I don't know what to call them. Arches? Legs? Oh, that's not a giant monster. Or no. Okay, so this area is a funky path. It is sometimes not nice. Would you like me to give you explicit directions? Uh, I'll start going. Ah. Oh. You won't go that way. No, I will not. What are you searching for, boy? Hey, found some water. Okay, it looks like only one way to go right now, and that's is kind of confusing because the black kind of blends in with the black. Yeah. Nice shot. There we go. Dog is really intelligent. Yes. So those are always slides. There we go. Okay. The ground has fallen out. Yeah, it has. All right. Well, I guess I'm not. Oh, it fell out all around me. Yep. There I have to go back. Specific path. Um, don't know where else to go. There we go. Yep. I'm going back. All right, yeah, go ahead. Tell me where to go. <laughs> okay. All right. Go to the right. Up. Left. Down. Straight up. There, now go to left, up from here. I think I'm looking. It is very reduced due to how, how I'm having to handle all my windows. Boy, help me out. Thank you. Hey, level six. Okay. Left and up. Right. And then you'll keep going right. 
you went too much higher up on that path, you would have gotten trapped. Keep going, right? Up from here. Oh, that one got me this time. There we go. Up. Up. And you're clear. You get trapped, but there's only one here, place right? to go, and that's progress, yes. Let me just fight along the way. Come on, flightless. There we go. Good job, Zappa. All right. No more falling paths from here. Everything is just interlocking layers. Ooh. Somebody landed a crit. Right is actually left is correct. So go right. Okay. Left is right. So go right to get stuff. Or not yet. Dang it, I was wrong. My mistake. It's all good. But, I mean, left is still right. Dang it. There we go. Alright, now I'm up on top. Can't carry more pedals, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it on me. Because well, at least that one didn't go away. Zappa is gonna level up before I do. Probably. And then I go down here. Yep. And you'll just cut straight across. Excellent. Okay, well, let's drop a pedal on our loyal friend. Get some clay. Squash a mosquito. Now, going straight across will get you more stuff. Probably another pedal. Don't think so, though. It'll actually hurt me. Oh, it's a biscuit. Uh, oh, that's better. What does that do? That's your dog biscuit. Is that the resurrection? For your dog. Sweet. And... And now prepare. Oh my God. How soon would you like to cheese it? Well, the only reason I'm not freaking out right now is because I saw this thing on like the cover of the game. Otherwise, yes. I would be having a panic attack at the moment. <laughs> and that's why I said, how fast do you want to cheese it? I want to just fight it the best I can. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.